everyone and welcome back to my show. Happy Friday and we have tons of stuff to talk about including Jermaine Jackson, Taylor Swift, and Kitson. Let's get started. The paparazzi caught Jermaine Jackson in Calabasas on Wednesday and there's something questionable happening in his pants. The picture that the paparazzi caught is of Jermaine coming out of what looks like some type of grocery store or store and he's about to get into his expensive car but in his tight leather pants on top of that dramatic hairdo, I don't know what's going on. I mean, there's a huge bulge in those tight leather pants and it looks very inappropriate. I mean, a lot of people were talking about the game and how inappropriate it was of him to post those pictures of his boxers, but at least that's in a boxer setting. It looks gross. I mean, take a look at the picture for yourself. We could just start from the top down. The hairdo, I mean, his hairline comes like this. Nobody's natural hairline comes this close and it looks all greased down and then he has this little jerry curl action happening on the top along with all the Botox and smoothie you know chocolate milk skin that he has going on you keep making your way down on questionable things on Jermaine and then you finally hit the belt buckle it looks like there's a bowl of fruit that he stole from the grocery store the game at least like I said it was boxers and it looked like he was taking a selfie for his girlfriend or for the world to see his package but for Jermaine it looks like it was just stuck in there or he stole some fruits from the grocery store. Jermaine, take a look at the picture, fix what's happening in there, do something. In other news, Taylor Swift and her girl squads are being called out by famed feminist and cultural critic Camille Paglia. Camille wrote an essay for The Hollywood Reporter where she goes on to say, Swift herself should retire that obnoxious Nazi Barbie routine of wheeling out friends and celebrities as performance props. Girl squads can help women advance if they avoid presenting a silly, regressive public image. Camille advised Taylor that she should look back in history to see how males bonded with each other. Camille also compares Taylor to the fascist blondes that were coming up in her time and that she says it's scary because it seems like Taylor and these girl squads are doing the exact same thing. With both Camille and Taylor being self-proclaimed feminist, I do think it's important to be careful when you know, looking at what Camille said is that we need to look towards men in history to see how they bonded. Men and women are different and the way that women behave, it does make, you know, the whole girl squad seem kind of silly and stupid in their airheads and I don't appreciate that. So I, you know, I do think we should look to men as far as how they bonded throughout history and see how they, you know, came onto the red carpet if that's what you're doing, you know, and see how their projects and their entrepreneurships came about. But I think for women, there is a classier way to do it. And Taylor's not a teenager anymore. You know, she's not any of these little girls coming up. She's a grown woman. And for them to be acting like that, I think they need to grow up a little more, act a little more classy. And right now, I feel like it's still, they're still playing teeny games. Kitson, the overpriced LA fashion boutique is finally closing its doors. Kitson announced on Thursday that they will be closing all of their 17 store locations, including California, Nevada, and Oregon. Kitson opened up its first store in 2000 on Robertson Boulevard, and it was the go-to spot for young celebrities like Lindsay Lohan, Paris Hilton, and the Kardashians. Kitson has been making headlines the past couple of years with financial troubles, trying to bail themselves out, and other companies interested in buying them. But overall, it looks like it's too late and they just decided to close their doors. But good news to all of us regular folk that could never afford the overpriced Forever 21-ish kind of clothing and accessories. Right now at the Robertson store, they're having 30 to 50% off all of their merchandise. Meanwhile, a couple blocks away, Chanel just bought the Rodeo Drive spot. Now, it may not seem like a big deal, but when you've been paying over $13,000 a square foot to lease a property on Rodeo Drive, it's a pretty big deal when you can finally call it your own. So, sorry Kitson, it looks like other businesses are doing just fine and you know you were overpriced. You know this was just a celebrity hot spot and a backdrop for the paparazzis. You know people, right now 30 to 50% off at Kitson stores. Take advantage while you can, buy those last minute Christmas gifts, can't beat that deal. Thanks for watching everyone, be sure to thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and tell me what you guys think about today's episode, and what you guys think about all the drama with Jermaine Jackson, Taylor Swift, and Kitson Closing. Have a great weekend and I'll see you soon.